Hello there year three, it is James and the Giant Peach time and it's chapter 34. Come on centipede, bite through the first string, James ordered. The centipede took one, hop, took one of the silk strings between his teeth and bit through it. And once again, but not with an angry cloud man dangling from the end of this string this time, a single seagull came away from the rest of the flock and went flying off on its own. Bite another, James ordered. The centipede bit through another string. Why aren't we sinking? We are sinking. No, we're not. Don't forget, the peach is a lot lighter now than when we started out, James told them. It lost an awful lot of juice when those hailstones hit it in the night. Cut away two more seagulls, centipede. Ah, that's better. Here we go. Now we really are sinking. Yes, this is perfect. Don't bite any more centipede or we'll sink too fast. Gently does it. Slowly, the great peach began losing height and the buildings and streets down below became closer and closer. Do you think we'll get our pictures in the papers when we get down? The ladybird asked. My goodness, I've forgotten to polish my boots, the centipede said. Everyone must help me to polish my boots before we arrive. So questions. Why does it take longer for the peach to sink than it might have previously? And what does the centipede want to do before they land? Think carefully about those because those two questions are in your quiz. Oh, for heaven's sake, said the earthworm. Can't you ever stop thinking about... But he never finished his sentence. For suddenly, whoosh! And they looked up and saw a huge four-engine plane coming shooting out of a nearby cloud and go whizzing past them, not more than 20 feet over their heads. This was actually the regular early morning passenger plane coming into New York from Chicago. And as it went by, it sliced right through every single one of the silken strings. And immediately the seagulls broke away and the enormous peach, having nothing to hold it up in the air any longer, went tumbling down towards the earth like a lump of lead. Help, cried the centipede. Save us, cried Miss Spider. We are lost, cried the ladybird. This is the end, cried the old green grasshopper. James, cried the earthworm. Do something, James, quickly do something. I can't, cried James. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Shut your eyes, everybody. It won't be long now. So why do they assume they are going to die? And why does the peach end plummeting towards the ground? And can the last one, can you predict what will happen when the peach reaches the ground? So your quiz is on the Learning Hub. Be sure to do it because when you and be sure, please, to put your name on the quiz so that Miss Heal and I know exactly who's handed in work. That would be fantastic. And we will see you tomorrow.